Welcome to NIOS. Today we will study part 1 of lesson number 25 from social science syllabus. The title of the lesson is types of development. In today's lesson we will learn about the concepts of socio-economic development, human development, regional development and sustainable development. We will also try to understand about regional imbalances and their causes. Learners, before understanding the meaning of socio-economic development, we should learn the meaning of development. development. It is that condition when things are improving. Socio-economic development means the improvement in people's lifestyle. This can be done by improving people's education, income, etc. We can divide the word socio-economic development in two parts. To understand its meaning easily, social and economic. First word is social development. In this process, the transformation of social institutions takes place. It means that the thinking behavior and attitude of the people in the society is becoming better. Second word is economic development. It means the economic condition of country is improving. If economic condition of people improves, it leads to improvement in their social and political condition also. Therefore, we can say that socio-economic development is improvement in many ways. It affects different aspects of human life in a country. Today, a new concept of human development is becoming famous. Let us understand about it. Learners in economic development, we focus on income only. 
however human development is related to the happiness of people and their all round development it covers almost all aspects of human life like economic social political cultural educational physical mental and emotional therefore in human development people are most important according to it economic growth is important however it is necessary that equal development of all the people takes place learners do you know that the hdi its full name is human development index it has been developed to measure the level of development in a country the hdi is based on many factors like first factor is age and second factor is health of people third factor is their education and standard of living do you know what is undp it is united nations development program issued the first human development report in the year 1990 in this report all the countries of the world were given ranks based on their performance based on human development and on the basis of quality of life of people this report is published every year it is said to say that india always gets a low position in the undp report in year 2007 2008 india came 128 out of 177 countries now let's understand about sustainable development in order to make progress human beings have overused the social economic and political resources available to them in this way the quantity of these resources has decreased and if we keep using them so much they will not remain available for our next generations sustainable development is that development that fulfill the needs of the present generation without finishing the resources so that they can be used by the future generations therefore it is necessary that we use the resources in a limited manner sustainable development 
takes care of the needs of all sections of the society including the backward groups now let's understand socio economic development in india learners we have learnt about four main concepts in this lesson till now first is development second is socio economic development third is human development and fourth is sustainable development we will now try to know about the socio economic development taking place in india many efforts have been made for the development of the country since independence as a result of these efforts india has made great progress in the economic field we should be happy that the life expectancy and literacy rates have also increased poverty has also decreased in the country learners we just come across a new term life expectancy have you heard about this before life expectancy is the average age of people in a country despite the development in the economic field we still face some problems like economic inequality which means that while some people in the country have become very rich others have become poor therefore difference between rich and poor has increased it is said that even today all indians are not able to fulfill their basic needs like food and home now let's understand regional imbalance learners we have learned that india has made great progress in social political and economic fields however this is also true that all the regions of the country have not been able to develop equally which means that while few parts of india have become very rich others have become poor there are two causes of this imbalance first cause is natural and second cause is man made let's now understand the first cause which is natural causes sometimes natural features of a state or regions are favorable for its development for example the indo ganga plain of north india has fertile soil and availability of water whereas in the north eastern states 
there are dense forests and less fertile soil. Therefore, nature has created difference between regions. This is called as regional diversity. Now let's understand the second cause. Man-made causes. These differences or inequalities are not created by nature. In fact, human beings have created them. For example, income, industrial growth, transport and communication facilities, literacy rate, health, etc. These human-made differences or inequalities between regions are known as disparities. Learners, let us know quickly, move to today's question. First question, what is the full form of UNDP? Think it was told in this same video. Answer is United Nations Development Program. Learners, let us revise our lesson now. We learnt about the concept of development. Human development, socio economic development, and sustainable development. We also learn about the condition of socio economic development in the country. We also discussed about causes of regional imbalances in India. With this, we have reached the end of today's lesson. I hope you liked watching this video. If you have any queries, you may send our queries to sign language at nios dot ac dot in for more information you may visit website at www dot nios dot ac dot in that's all for today thanks for watching namaskar